Hi, my name is Lorenzo. I've been working for Rush for about seven years. I'm a Rush Academy educator and also a Rush artistic team member. What we're working on today is a wavy hairstyle and we're going to blow dry it straight. This is my lovely model Holly. Now, so far I've really pre-dried the hair a little bit. Okay, you don't want to start sectioning until the hair's, let's say, 50, 60, 70% dry. Um, so you can, you know, just brush dry up your hands to get a little bit more movement in the roots. You don't want to dry everything too flat. We want movement, then we're going to bring the hair nice and smooth. So we're going to start with a very clean section, centre parting, and divide the hair using two sectioning clips. Nice and clean. Comb the hair away from the section you want to be blow drying on. Therefore, you can get a cleaner finish on the roots. Just one simple clip. That's all we need. Obviously, you want your sections to be even and balanced. Therefore, you get a more balanced blow dry. Now, the product I've used on the ends is the sublimiter jaw, okay, which is going to give me moisturised ends, and I've also put a little bit of mousse, uh, the volume active. So we've got Kerasaz volume active mousse on the roots to give the volume, leading into nice, smooth, shiny ends. So two products really, for two very different reasons. Going to be using a small nozzle, it tends to give me a little bit more power, so I can really stretch the hair out and seal the cuticle to make it smooth as possible. Also, we're using a large round brush. Very important that it's round so we can get the tension and also lift the roots and draw the hair out. So I'm subdividing the hair, working the brush through to get rid of the knot, and now we can start to dry. I want to dry those roots first by elevating. Move through the middle end and bevel on the end. Okay, I'm going to be working with about one inch sections all the way up the head, staying balanced and repeating the technique whilst not touching the hair underneath as we don't want to disturb this now. Okay, guys, so as you can see, I've worked to the top section of hair. I've left a box out because I need to change my technique for this area. Now, the product I've used at the top is a mousse. The mousse is going to give me some volume. So the Keras has volume active is perfect for this. Obviously, I wanted to create a straight, very smooth, shiny finish on the ends, but when it comes to blow drying straight hair, I still feel that you want to have some volume on top. So we can create some movement and it's a little bit more sexy. So I'm going to take uh, three small sections on the top, horizontally, work my brush up and then back onto itself to create a barrel roll. Now I'm going to pin that barrel roll whilst it's still hot and as the barrel cools down it will actually set up a little bit more volume, which I think is quite important to um, you know, give it a bit more bounce on the crown. Again, working with a smaller nozzle and large round brush. What I want to be doing is all of my movements can be elevated. So we elevate the roots and then back over onto itself. Whenever you're trying to work a bit of volume or curl into hair, you know, you have to be quite energetic. You really need to work it. The idea is to get the hair as hot as possible from the root up to the tip. So as I pin this hair, I want it to be hot all the way through. That's why I'm working it as much as possible. Now I'm winding it down with good tension, pulling your feet. And we take the brush out and very quickly And very quickly, we just want to barrel this curl underneath itself. Just use your fingers, twist that in. 
nice tight little bun there. Just place a clip at the root. You still want to let the hair breathe and expand. You don't want to put the clip and flatten it, otherwise obviously it'll dry flat. So what we're going to do is work a couple more sections coming back and then the fringe, I'm going to show you how we're going to blow dry it working from left to right and get that really lovely side sweeping fringe. Okay, so just with this very last section at the front, although I'm doing a straight blow dry, I want to create a little bend and bevel just so she can wear it sweeping over. Otherwise it's going to fall a little bit too straight on her face. So just working this round. Now I'm really working those ends to get it smooth and sleek. Using my body to direct the hair to the opposite side. going to reduce my elevation and we'll flip that round. Now I can let the hair down and give it a very nice smooth straight finish. And as a finishing touch, I like to pick up the section from the back with the section from the top and I'm just going to work it through together to blend it from the roots all the way through to the end. This really is the finishing point of the, uh, of the blow dry. You're just spending that extra little 10% at the end to go over your ends again to achieve an even smoother result. So just on the fringe here, work it down a little bit lower using the nozzle to direct the end into your shape. Okay, so just using just a little drop the Luminaire Nutrisculpt from Kerastase. This is quite a light cream, lighter than a serum, but it gives a very, very similar result. You need to activate it through, well, building up a little bit of friction. As you can see, it's not too greasy. And we're just gonna work this through the ends. You don't wanna be applying this anywhere near the roots. Quite firmly, just squeeze through the cuticles, through the ends. Tiny bit of hairspray. And there we go, finished result.